Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be giving you guys a guide on how to draft inside of Power League. Uh, because I think most pros would agree with me, drafting is probably the most important thing and the easiest way to get more wins inside of Power League. So let's get into the guide. All right, so I have three things here that you're gonna to wanna to think about before actually getting into the draft. So the first thing is going to be Understand which brawlers you're strong with and which brawlers you're not so strong with. It is very important that you guys think about this because if you're picking brawlers that you just typically don't win with and that you're not comfortable with, you're putting your team at a huge disadvantage before the game even starts and uh, you just don't want that. You want to be picking brawlers that you're strong with, you're comfortable with, and that way you can get more wins inside a power league. The second thing is going to be to try to have a pretty good understanding of the general meta. Now, this is not always easy, but if you guys put in the time, I know you can do it. And since you guys are watching this video, you probably have a decent idea of what's good in the general meta, as well as if you want to know more, make sure to watch other pros as well, because they do some pretty great content around which brawlers are really strong right now. And again, it's super important when you're drafting, you want to be able to pick the best brawlers in the best scenarios. All right, the third and last thing is going to be understand that the meta changes per map now this is super important all right guys so now we're going to run down each position of the draft now each position has a different job and we're going to be trying to break it down for you guys so in the first position your job is actually pretty simple you're going to be wanting to pick the best brawler on that map and if the best brawler is banned you're going to want to be, be picking the second best brawler Basically, you just don't want to give the enemy team the best brawler and you want to get that brawler for yourself, for your team. That way you're put at an advantage before the game starts. All right, so position two is a little bit more complicated. Now position two, you're going to want to pick a brawler that's still really strong inside that map, but as well as you're going to want to make sure that your comp is not super hard counterable. And what I mean by that is for an example, uh, if you're playing on hot potato and your teammate, your first teammate picks barley, you're not going to want to pick sprout or something that's super super squishy that way the enemy team can just play like they could even play mortis or edgar and they would be able to probably destroy you on side that inside that map because you made it so easy to get countered all right now the second thing to think about in position two is you have the ability to potentially counter the enemy you'll see that the enemy has either one brawler picked or two brawlers picked already and you can start thinking about counters right away and what i mean by that is for example if the enemy team picked surge you could pick spike lane and play spike versus surge lane and be put at an instant advantage in your lane. Spike with the new gadget is really strong versus surge. All right, so position three, which is going to be the most important position in power league. So you have three jobs in position three. The first one is going to be to ban. Now banning is actually super important. And I think most people don't even realize how important it actually is. So when you're banning, you wanna to look to see which team has the first pick. And let's say your team has the first pick, you're not gonna to wanna to ban the best brawler on that map. You wanna leave the best brawler open for your team to pick. So for example, on Shooting Star, you're not gonna to wanna to ban Nanny if your team has first pick. You want your teammate to pick Nanny. That way your team's put at a huge advantage because again, Nanny's the best brawler on Shooting Star by far. But that also goes the other way around. So if the enemy team has first pick, then you actually wanna ban Nanny and not let them get Nanny because otherwise you're putting your team at a disadvantage. So Try to pay attention to the bands because they're super important. All right, so the second thing you wanna be doing in position three is going to be to round out your comp. Now, let's say your teammates pick two lane brawlers in a gem grab game. You're not gonna pick another lane brawler. You need to be able to pick a, a mid brawler. That way you're not you know, picking three lane brawlers and then no one knows what to do inside the game. Your job is again to round out the comp, pick a mid brawler in that example, and then that way your comp is pretty well rounded. The last position in the draft has so much power, power to counter the enemy's comp. So for example, again, if the enemy team picks a bunch of squishy brawlers, like let's say they pick Sprout and Piper and Mortis is open, you can just pick Mortis and just destroy the enemy team and basically give your team a free win because you hard countered them with the last pick. So. Again, we're gonna be showing you guys examples and try to give you good examples of this later on in the video. But again, just, you know, try to think of counters on the spot. You know, you'll learn more about which brawlers counter which with practice. But again, try to keep these things in mind in your position. All right guys, so hopping into the first live draft here. Now I missed a little bit of the action, but we are going to be the first pick. And what we wanted to do was end up picking the best brawler inside this map. Now, unfortunately I didn't get the chance to cause they banned Bell. In my opinion, Bell probably one of the strongest picks. Amber, also a very strong option that I was considering. But again, our job is pretty straightforward inside the first position. We're gonna wanna take a very, very strong brawler. And I think Spike does that as well. Uh, we're gonna be locking in the curveball and the gadget. 
And uh, you can see that the enemy team does what they need to do in the second and third position. They're going to be locking in uh, Leon and Amber, both very, very strong options on inside this map. Now the enemy does a very good job here, locking in Sprout the last pick. And they did, they did that because, well, they counter all three of us. And that is what you're gonna be trying to do in the third position. Kennedy did it very, very well, taking a very good brawler to counter us. All right guys, hopping into the second draft here. And this one is going to be on Pit Stop. Now, again, we are gonna be in the second position now. So we're not, we're gonna wanna be picking a strong brawler uh, as on the map, as well as we're gonna be wanting to potentially counter the enemy's pick here. So they do have the first pick, uh, the bands Brock and Buzz. So good to know Brock, very, very strong brawler on this map. Uh, some other options are going to be uh, Rico, Barley, things like that are, are gonna be pretty good here. So we're gonna wait and see what they first pick uh, and it's gonna be Barley. Now, again, we're gonna be wanting to pick a strong brawler in the second position for our team comps too. Very strong first brawler uh, and as well, we're probably gonna be picking Rico if, uh, you know, Rico is let open here. So Rico or Spike are probably going to be the two. Uh, and I'm going to pick Rico just because, well, Spike would struggle a little bit against Barley. So there, if you have to make the decision between two brawlers, pick whichever one is going to be better versus the brawler that the enemy team has. So again, we're going to lock in the Rico pick here. Now, obviously we would be running the gadgets uh, if we had them, like uh, the new gadget that, you know, heals the instant revive uh, Rico gadget, whatever you want to call it. I think it's Bouncy Castle or something. I'm not sure. Either way, we do lock in a good strong uh, second pick, a strong brawler on the map, uh, a brawler that's not very bad against their brawler. Uh, so they lock in M's. M's is a good option, but I will say M's is not that great versus the brawlers we've already picked. So a little bit of a mistake from him, I think. I think you could pick something a little bit better versus Stu, uh, such as Spike, and something a little bit better versus Rico, which again, Spike would be pretty good here. So now this brawl, uh, this pick here has to be well-rounded. And that is not really well rounded guys jesse is not that strong here as well as it's not very good to round out their comp i think uh, re our comp is really really strong versus theirs already and uh this makes the job for our uh, last player really really easy he can basically pick anything uh that would be you know pretty strong versus them he kind of did counter himself a little bit versus m's but you know what it's totally fine uh and i think we we have a good draft all right guys, so we're in a draft here on Hideout and we are in the third position. Now we should be banning uh, the second best brawler because well, uh, we have the option of picking the best brawler on this map or at least we have the first pick and uh, we're gonna ban Leon because well, we want them to pick Brock and you can see our teammate is doing exactly what we want. We want the Brock pick. Yeah, there you go. Please pick Brock. Uh, and uh, that is a perfect example of what we wanted to happen as the third pick. We're gonna be banning we're going to ban the second best brawler, so that way if they don't ban the best brawler, we're going to lock in Brock there. And uh, we're looking really, really solid already in this draft, guys. And we took away Leon because, well, if we allowed them to get Leon, that would be really, really unfortunate for our team. So they're going to be locking in Piper. They'll probably pick Bell here as well. This would be a good option uh, for them in this map because, again, Bell really strong on this map and uh, would kind of take Bell away from us. So, you know what? We're totally fine with them picking Bell. And... Uh, Okay, they picked Byron. So we, again, we're in the third position. We have two jobs, which is going to be to round out our comp, as well as we're gonna be trying to counter a little bit of what the enemy team uh, has. So I love the bell pick, very well-rounded well brawler, very good long range brawler on this map. Rounds out our comp, no, please pick bell. I guess Crow to counter the Byron. I guess that's the idea there. Now we would either pick bell or, bell or nanny here. And uh, if we do not have return to sender uh okay we do have return to sender so we're going to be picking nanny because well we counter piper as well as again a good option in general on this map so we're trying to do a little bit of both round out our comp as well as counter the enemy comp a bit so we're really happy with this pick now again they do have last pick so they can you know do some couple things there and again that's what i was thinking sprout uh, because while well, the walls are going to be a little bit hard to take out, uh, Brock's going to have to do a lot of work. But again, another pretty solid draft. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Now, I hope this guide helped you even just a little bit. And if it did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit the subscribe button because it helps me out a ton. And anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Peace.